do all sorts of stuff. You don't even care. You, I mean, you're just loving that it's your car and no one else can say anything about it. But I'm telling you, as soon as you modify a car, you anchor it to the ground and time moves on and it looks stupid in the future. That is a fact. G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I hope you're doing well and I may look tired and I'm going to blame Pokemon Bloody Go. I'm walking everywhere. Anyway, let's check out today's feature car. One of 200 1992 Nissan Skyline Ortec versions. It's a four-door, of course. And I'm really liking the R32 nowadays, both the two-door and the four-door. It took a while to grow on me, but I'm really liking it. I'm still seeing some R32 four-doors driving around the streets. And of course, R32 GTRs I do see about also. Now, what makes the Ortec version super, super, super special? Well, of course, there's the limited build number, 200. It's the engine, and the engine is an RB26D. So a naturally aspirated engine, no turbo. Wow. It's been overboard over at Ortec, pumping it out about another 30 cubic centimeters. The crank, conrods and flywheel have all been balanced, providing minimal vibration when you rev the guts out of it. Also the heads have been polished to improve flow there. Gearbox is a 4-speed auto. So I was researching about this car and the engine and I came across a few Speed Hunter articles and uh, it talks about Mr. Watanabe from Rocky Auto, top friendly guy, awesome. But uh, he uses these cars or the engines from these cars to power many of his creations. Hey, I even saw that Carbon Hakoska had a good look at it, I was pretty impressed. But it turns out the engine from that car was taken from one of these 1 of 200 cars. And that made me have a bit of a think. Now one of the markings on this car is the SS logo and that stands for Sakurai Shin Ichiro. He was a engineer for Prince. He of course dropped the six cylinder in a skyline making the nose longer and creating the GT. Also the Prince R380. He then went to Nissan and developed the Hakoska and Ken Mary Skylines and apparently worked all the way up to the R31, weaving his magic. So an absolute legend and uh, I wonder if he would like the engines of his cars being ripped out. Ripped out I tell you and put into other cars. So what I'm thinking here is in 20 years time what will be more impressive? Yet another tuned Hakoska, Ken Mary or a pure? one of 200 Nissan Skyline Ortec version. I know which one I would prefer. Now I know I'm in the minority, Mr. Watanabe and yourself. You're all about um, doing whatever you want with your car. You know, treat it badly, rip the engine out, do whatever you want, put, cut the guards and do all sorts of stuff. You don't even care. You, I mean, you're just loving that it's your car and no one else can say anything about it. But I'm telling you, as soon as you modify a car, you anchor it to the ground and time moves on and it looks stupid in the future. That is a fact. Okay, well thank you for indulging me in my rant and I'm looking rough, but uh, school holidays have started here in Japan. I'm getting ready to travel to Australia. It's going to be awesome. And uh, hey, thank you so much everyone for your support. Uh, really, truly appreciated. Of course, Patreons for your contributions, very much appreciated. You guys are making things happen. And I will leave it there. Thank you so much and take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a little bit of wasabi.